Hello everybody and welcome back to another mod tutorial for City Skylines. I'm KRX and this time we're going to be looking at uh, Fine Road Tools and Fine Road Anarchy, which is an amazing sort of back pocket tool for building when building roads. And so if we click on and, you know, get into a road menu here, we're going to notice that the only thing that's really changed is that the different um, step elevation step option has been replaced. Instead of having three different step choices in the vanilla game, now we're going to have an entire menu here. And in fact, the very first thing at the top is the elevation step. So we can see that in this case, I have it set to one meter so that I can make a lot of little micro adjustments to the elevation step and do something very, very precise. We are using a third mod right here to get this, um, to get this little height number to show up. That's called precision engineering. And we're going to be seeing that throughout the video. Uh, that's really kind of all it does. It gives you these unit numbers, which is really, really nice. So that you can kind of see, you can understand where you are in, in sort of, you know, in relation to everything. So we can, we can adjust this though, and we can get a custom step depending on what we're trying to do. So in this case, you know, we're at 10 and then we can go down and that's going to take us down to negative two because we have it set to 12. So every step is 12. So from 10, we'd go up to 22 and so on and so forth, right? But I like having it on one and that's just what i've gotten used to but you know honestly if you, if you know for a fact you want that pedestrian height to be seven meters because that's the magic number you swing it around you go there and yeah because you know mentioning that actually this does apply to the default pathways as well right so this will def default to or apply to the pedestrian stuff as well just keep that in mind going forward because sometimes you do need to use this stuff on the pedestrian pathways to get the desired effect Moving away from the elevation step, we have the different modes. By default, this button right here, you only select one of these at a time. By default, this is unmodded. The first option is unmodded. In fact, all of this is unmodded. This down here is the unmodded configuration as well. Off, on, on, on. But uh, going back to the modes here, we can see that this is just default. If we want to basically, what this does is, you know, when you're going along and you elevate up, you know, you're, you're going to move into an elevated mode to signal that you're making sort of like an overpass or bridge or something, right? If we click on this, that's not the case anymore. We're going up, but we're bringing the earth with us. We're bringing the earth with us. Now, the cool thing is we can use the upgrade tool to actually alter something that is already elevated to a ground mode with this tool, basically called ground. Or, you know, here's elevate. We can go back and we can actually be like, no, I actually want that elevator. Maybe I want this section ground. Maybe I want this section ground. Or maybe just this, the way up is ground and then that's elevated or something. Who knows, right? Who knows? And we can just flip this. So once you've had the road built, you can use the upgrade tool to actually apply these different modes to the road retroactively, which is amazing, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, the, fin the next one here, not the final one, but the next one is for bridge. So in this case, we need a road that actually can produce a bridge and we can actually force a bridge in any of these segments, including this segment. Heck, we can force a bridge on the ground too, which is really, really neat. Really, really neat. Then we do have the tunnel mode and the tunnel mode is going to be a little bit goofy if you apply it to a road that's, well, not underground because it's just going to make it uh, sort of pull earth up over it and then give you the idea that there's a tunnel here, but you then could come through and do some work here with the terraforming and actually make this look pretty good. Alternatively, we can actually take a ground mode and we can apply that to a tunnel and we can actually sort of dive in and have this sort of sink down into the ground, which is really, really nice. Alternatively, if you have ground on, this is really, really cool. If you have ground on, you cannot go down. You cannot tunnel. So if we build here and I wanna go lower, 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 I will never tunnel. I will never tunnel. It will always just be pushing the ground down, which is really, really neat. So that's kind of the modes, right? And we can play around with this as much as we need to. We can do all kinds of things. Heck, I mean, I guess we could do an actual sunken bridge too, right? We sink the bridge down or we sink that section down. Then we make it a bridge by doing the upgrade. There you go. Now we have a sunken bridge, which is just insane, but it's possible now, right? Something that's completely not possible in the base game. And we can do it with fine road tools. Now, moving along, we also have the straight slope tool, which is really, really cool. So let's go back to default here, basically all vanilla up. 
And you can see that now it's actually trying to make an actual slope from point A to point B. You know, the start and the finish. Whereas in the base game, right, if we don't have this little straight slope selected, putting it next by, you know, side by side here, we'll notice that by bringing this up over here, it only wants to do a few segments. It's, it's going to kind of like, it's not going to do a full straight bit for the whole thing. It's just going to go back a couple segments. Definitely not the intention. And then from here, of course, we could just upgrade this a little bit because the game tried to think that we wanted that to suck up the ground, but instead we just want that to be all elevated. And it's an easy adjustment to make that happen. Or maybe we want it all ground instead. Nice and easy. The world is our oyster, right? We can do whatever the heck we want. Then going, sort of making all of this vanilla again, we can go to the Anarchy Tools. So this is a second download. Fine Road Tools Anarchy is a second download, but it all gets comp comprised into the same menu system. And this is default, um, basically vanilla behavior. Anarchy is going to let us bypass that restriction. It's saying, you know, the space is already occupied. It's just being annoying, right? If we do this, we can just build however we want. We can, we can literally just build however we want. And uh, while it might look silly, there might be certain reasons why we want to do something that might look silly or might be against the rules of the game. There's less egregious ways that, that you know, the game doesn't particularly like. It doesn't like these angles and stuff like that. Maybe we need an angle like this. So we can do anarchy and that'll give us the angle that we want. That includes, you know, uh, really steep slopes and things. If we can find, you know, heck, if we found um, something over here, maybe. Let's turn anarchy off. Let's see, how does it, it doesn't like that slope. Well, we need that slope. So we just turn on anarchy and boom, we have that slope. Nice and easy, right? Nice and easy. So anarchy, of course, has an incredible value. Uh, you could do all kinds of interesting things with that. This also means that you can go through buildings. So we have an incinerator over here, actually. And with anarchy, we can just we can just go right through it. No big deal. No big deal. Now there's some other cool things that are here that go beyond just anarchy. Like if we have a road here, you'll notice that if we try to build out of here, it's got this really, really annoying little bend here. I don't want a bend. I just want a straight. I want this to be a perfect sort of straight road. That's where this toggle road bending comes into play. If we disable that. Now we can do a straight road out of here, which is not possible in the base game. In fact, you can see it doesn't even like these really sharp angles. That's when anarchy comes into play. So if we act, disable toggle road bending and then we activate anarchy, now we can do some really intense stuff here, which that might be a little bit too intense, but you get the point. We can do different things. Uh, toggle road snapping is really, really nice because sometimes, sometimes you're going along. Let's get everything vanilla up here. You're trying to build really close, but you don't want this to actually connect. You're trying to get that as close as humanly possible without actually connecting. In fact, it's actually just letting me do that because it's snapping. It just so happens to be snapping to something else. I bet you it's going to be trickier if we do it. Yeah, it's going to be trickier from this side because it doesn't have that same guide. But if we disable toggle road snapping, you'll notice we can get close on both sides now. Sometimes this causes little issues. You just have to be aware of it. Sometimes the nodes don't actually like to sort of group up and connect. The way that you would hope but this also means that you can get a very precise bit here it doesn't it doesn't just immediately snap to the node because like building on at that particular point right there is very difficult without this because see it always it always wants to go right for the node so if we wanted it for a very specific reason if we wanted it right there we could do that now that technically would cause you know other issues that we could smooth out in different ways there's a reason why the game doesn't want you to be able to build there by default but we can work that stuff out. Creatively, we might need that road coming in at that exact angle. So that's when the toggle node snapping is quite useful. And then finally, we have road collision, which is basically uh, kind of like an anarchy where the roads just don't collide and stuff like that. And, uh, and buildings don't collide with roads and stuff like that. It also sometimes means that when you're building, um, the roads don't like link up. Correctly. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Sometimes you don't want to though, because sometimes you're actually what you're trying to do is you're trying to build over, like build one road on top of another road. And you can do this. It's, it's a little bit finicky, but you can do this and it won't snap, it won't collide with the roads and stuff like that. So this one I don't use very often. This is like a last ditch effort if what I'm trying to do just isn't working. I'll just turn that off. And that's just like, this is like the. You know, we're throwing all the safety measures to the wind. This is total anarchy over here if you, if you have that turned off, basically. 
is is essentially what's going on, especially in conjunction with all these being um, well, anarchy being on, these being off, and this one being off. Like basically a full flip on what the vanilla is. This is this is complete anarchy right here. Most of the time you're just going to be turning anarchy on. Sometimes you're going to want to get rid of that road bend, so you'll uh, you'll need that on. And then sometimes there's going to be a very it's going to be snapping it to a node that you just don't like, and you're going to want to get rid of that. And that's basically fine road tools with anarchy, a little bit of precision engineering, right? We can see the different the seven meters, five meters. We can kind of follow our adjustments here, which is really really handy, incredibly handy. We can also hover over things and it'll tell us how tall they are too. So that's 11 units right there. That's 10 units. And that's with the precision engineering as well. And there'll be a link to that down below with the, with the fine road tools and fine road anarchy. So if you guys have any questions on that, please leave them down below. I know we have a chaotic mess right here. Um, we're using these, we're using this collection of mod mods all the time on the Twitch channel. So if, for some reason, the context as to why you would do some of this stuff isn't quite making sense. Um, that'd be a great place to, to swing by and see how we're using it because we're always applying. We're always fiddling with all these little different buttons over here and we're happy to talk about it. Um, but for the most part, we've kind of gone through each feature and explained what it does. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of why this tool is so powerful and saves an incredible amount of time. Because yes, it is true. Most, a lot of this stuff you could do in the base game it just requires a lot of discipline and knowledge on how the base game actually behaves. And with this, we don't I don't have to be bothered with that. I can just build it the way I want it in the first try and move on from there and not get bogged down by some of the silliness of the base game. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Again, leave your questions and comments down below and I'll uh, I'll answer all the questions that are posted on this channel and uh, comment back on, on other things. So thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.